Welcome to my desktop, everybody. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to use the portable app Windows 7 Boot Updater to change your boot animation that you see as your computer starts up right before you see your logon screen. Everybody has seen this. It's the stock or default Windows boot animation. I did not make this portable app. It's made by Jeff Bush at the website coderforlife.com. But the boot animation that I'm going to load today, I did make. We're going to load the uh, mechanism, my mechanism boot skin, to complement the awesome theme build mechanism made by GSW953, inspired by the graphics design by Isababy. Before I get started, I want to mention that there are risks involved. I want you to be familiar how to recover your operating system in case you've got to experience any problems. I haven't had any problems myself, but I have read uh, uh, reports from others that have had uh, certain issues. For example, it may not work with certain language packs, or if you're dual booting with Windows 7 and 8, you may also experience a problem. There's a lot of details and information over at the website coderforlife.com that I urge you to uh, invest some time in uh, to uh, familiarize yourself with some of these issues and, and, and how to recover if you do have a problem. Uh, I've included some tutorial links in the download that will also help you uh, familiarize yourself if you're not uh, an expert in these types of things. Be familiar with how to create a system restore disk or how to create a restore point. Just basically how to how to boot into the Windows recovery options from the boot menu. I also want to mention that I made this uh, boot skin in a 16:9 resolution. And it may not appear correctly in other resolutions. If you're not running a 1920 by 1080 resolution, I want to suggest that you first load the PNG images folder instead of trying to load the BS7 file. This should apply the skin with the best results. Then once you have the skin applied, you can save it as a new BS7 file using your own native resolution. To check your monitor resolution, simply go to control panel, click on display, in the left navigation pane click on adjust resolution and in the center your resolution will be listed first method like I mentioned we're going to load a folder containing 105 individual images these happen to be in PNG format but there's several formats that are acceptable to start with you locate this animation box in the drop down click on the drop down menu select animation at the bottom of the list then it's going to ask you to navigate to the to the folder that contains 105 images if you downloaded uh, my boot skin which I hope you did you'll see a skins folder in the download locate this folder here that says images mechanism beat boot screen images and click on that select it you'll notice down at the bottom it's not looking for a file it's looking for a folder so click on select folder and as you can see it loaded it you can click the play button to preview the animation it's a small thumbnail but it's a pretty good representation of of the boot screen. While you're here I want to suggest you go ahead and, and edit, do some editing with your text, color, your text position, and your text size. You've got two messages that you can change. I'm going to go ahead and mess with that real quick.
there you have it. Again, you can preview if you want by hitting the play button. When you're ready, ready to save changes, all you do is come down here and click the apply button. It, it's going to be working for a second. It takes a few seconds for that to work. I want to also mention at this time that I've included some helpful how-to screenshots that will also demonstrate how to load all these boot screens, all the methods of loading boot screens. It's also included in the uh, download in a folder named How To Screenshots. And as you can see, once it's done updating, just click the OK button and you're done. You've just loaded your first boot skin. Next, I'm going to show you how to load another method of how to load a boot scan using a BS7 file. I've also included that file in the download, but it's done a little bit differently. Come up here in the top on the File tab and select Load Boot Skin. And now you're going to notice down here at the bottom that it's looking for a file, a .bs7 file. Navigate to the folder location of that .bs7 file and select it. And in this instance it's the same same boot skin so we don't see any changes in our preview screen. But that's how you load a .bs7 file. Um, we're not going to click any uh, uh, changes here, apply any changes, because I just did that. I've already loaded that and changed my text. I don't see any change in my text here because I, it, it's not showing it yet until I reboot. Next thing I want to show you is how to do how to restore any of your boot screens, how to restore or how to how to replace any of your backups. Every time you load a boot screen it, it backs up the previous one that you've loaded. If this is your first time loading a boot screen, obviously the default Windows animation is your first backup. If you continue loading various boot skins, say you've got 20, you've loaded 20 different boot skins, that means you're going to have 20 different backups. To restore your previous backup, each time you click, you select Options tab on the toolbar, and every time you click Restore Backup, it'll restore the, the very last boot skin that you loaded. Again, if you've loaded 20 boot skins and you want to go back to the Windows default, you're going to have to select Restore 20 times. In this case, I've only loaded one boot skin. So as you can see, if I try to restore backups again, I have this message that tells me no files were, were restored because I have restored the original file. The Windows original Windows animation. It does not appear in this preview window until you close it out and open it again. As you can see, my stock or default animation is returned, so it has restored properly. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this helps some peeps. Thanks for watching.